Okay, this is like take 15 of this. My fingers are getting numb. This is the last washing machine motor turbine that I finished. And I'm pretty happy with the results. It's not making a whole lot of power right now. It's only getting about 5 to 10 mile an hour wind. And 20 mile an hour wind, it makes between 400 and 600 watts. Which is great for what I have invested in it. Uh, but there was a lot of experimentation going on with it. A lot of recycled parts and a lot of just trying to figure out a way to make it work. I think that I can do it better. Now, we're going to start another series. I'm going to build another one. Uh, possibly a couple of them. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to build the whole thing. Except for the blades. I just I can't see myself being willing to carve blades. But we're going to do all the rest of it. And that's what we're going to start with is where I'm getting the motor from. Now I see a lot of posts come up about people asking what they should start with. And if you've got the patience and the time and you know exactly what you want, build a turbine, an axial flux turbine, one of Hugh Piggott's designs. And I, I'm, I'm going to be mortified if I find out I'm pronouncing his name wrong. But that dude has... A great set of plans out there and that's that's one of the best ways to go now if you're trying to source a motor though and just you know trying to convert something I, I see a lot of people talking about uh, DC treadmill motors they they have to be driven really fast and you're probably not going to get a get a whole lot of power out of them uh, car alternators they require a lot of modification to work and uh, again they have to be driven really fast and you're going to have to either gear them up or or something. You're, it's going to be hard to get out of them what, what's, you know, something usable. These, though, every direct drive washing machine motor or wa washing machine has a permanent magnet three-phase motor. The direct, direct drive ones. Now, Every now and then there's one that's a front loader. Most of these, most of the direct drive washers are front mo or front loading washers. There are some that have a geared down pulley system. There'll be a little motor down at the corner. And uh, if, if you're looking for a, you know, a good pulley hub and way to set that up, then that, that gives you some good parts for that. But you want the direct drive for the motor. These motors can easily be made into 400 watt turbines. They do require a lot of effort to get started, so you, you do have a drawback there. There are ways to get around that. You can twist the cores a little bit, but that's just uh, pros and cons to the things that you're gonna work on. My favorite reason for liking these things is uh, that those two I paid 20 bucks a piece for these two the one on the left I gave 30 bucks for that one and the one on the right I paid 40 bucks for that one they're cheap they're easy to get uh, sometimes you can get them for free I, I found these on Facebook marketplace and they're really not in bad shape I'm half tempted to fix that one and just sell it. Now, usually the ones you want are front load washers, but sometimes you can find uh, top loaders. And that one don't even want to turn. That's probably why they got rid of that one. The top loaders, though, you will have to look up the model numbers. The model numbers are almost always right inside the lid. Look up the model number. Make sure it's got a direct drive three-phase motor. And if you're looking at the uh, parts listing, all the three-phase motors, they look like this. I think the only one that, uh, that you'll see every now and then that looks a little bit differently this one every now and then you'll come across one that looks like this but 
it'll still work. So, next video I'm going to do over the next couple of days, we're going to talk about harvesting what we want out of these uh, washing machines because we want the we want the motors for our turbines but there's some other stuff in here that you can pull and put on ebay and it'll it'll recoup your investment and maybe give you a few dollars to play with for buying some other parts so stay tuned this is going to be a a series and hopefully we'll get some better results than we did with the last one so you guys have a wonderful day stay warm stay safe all that and thanks for watching